video. Today I'm doing the full face of Revolution makeup. Guys, I've, I've opened the packaging. This is pretty much the packaging of all the stuff I bought. Let me even unravel some stuff. We have the pal a chocolate bar palette. We have the Revolution, the new sticks. I really do want to try those. I got a few shades actually. I don't know what is going to be my shade. But anything like the highlighters, I'm very, very excited because you guys know I love those highlighters. I don't know if I want to put pictures of where I'm using the highlighter. Here, 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 here. So yeah, let me just let me just get myself together. I got a few lipsticks. Eyebrow pen. This is a lip thing. I already had their Revolution Luxury Powders, but I haven't actually tried them. So I have them in terracotta and banana. Pretty much, guys. Let's just let's just get into it. Do you know what I mean? The Revolution Brow Definer. I don't know what shade this is. Hold on. Let me just open this packet. Oh, this looks cute. So this is the Revolution Brow Definer. Is my hand shaking like that? Relax, baby girl. Oh, this is very smooth. This thing is so creamy and the way it just glides on. Oh, I feel quite happy about this. I'm actually quite happy. So I'm going to go into the Revolution Conceal and Define It. And I'm going to go into the shade C13. I'm going to use that to just really nicely carve out my under eyebrows and see. Let's see how I feel. You guys know I love these concealers. I absolutely find them fantastic. I'm going to go into the Revolution Sticks. I've got the colours. Let me show you the colours. I've got F13, 14, 16 and 18. I think from F13 to F18, those are all the dark shades which i don't know i've seen swatches and i've just been like i haven't really been impressed so i'm gonna go with i initially thought f14 was my shade so that's the shade that i first bought but as you guys will see the shade is a bit off so i'll just show you f14 oh that actually doesn't look too bad it doesn't look bad on camera but in person this thing is so cold that is not, I don't know, I don't think that's my shade. I'll show you F13. That's definitely not my shade. That's too, way too light. F16, let me show you that. Yeah, I think that's more like warmer. And then I've got F18, which I know is definitely not gonna be my shade. Wait, what? This is F14, oh my gosh. Why am I an idiot? Okay, and then F18 is here, which is just way too dark for me. So, let's go with F16, and I'm gonna apply that all over my face. I just... I don't know for this shade. I really don't know. I think it's just making me look really like... We're gonna, we're gonna try and make this work. But the, con the consistency is really, really nice and very, very smooth. I quite like it. So I'm just gonna go with my brush. Just blend that all out. I look really oily, guys. What? I think I put on too much. I think I put on too much. I Yeah, look. Don't put too much. A little actually goes a long way. This is what happens when you're heavy handed like me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna actually gonna go show Basala what I look like. Basala. <laughs> <laughs> She's watching Grownish. Did you try to kiss him? She moved away. What happened? Did we watch this episode? Watch! She kissed him? Yeah, but she didn't. Uh, no, that's not fair. Wait. Yeah, so, so I was like, just put some concealer on and see how it's going to go. So I'm going to go into my usual concealer, which is C13. And I'm just going to be applying that underneath my eye. And then I'm gonna use F18 as a contour stick. Ooh, that's so creamy. Ooh, that's so smooth. The, the sticks are really, really nice and creamy. I really do like that consistency. I 
actually now that I've balanced it out it's actually not too bad then I want to go into C12 I know this is a bit light and you guys know I'm the girl I'm extra I'm all the way extra slap it on you guys slap it on I can hear Mr. Lesky when she's just watched the latest episode of Grown Ish. I swear, guys, Grown Ish is the best show ever. Literally. So I'm gonna go into <laughs> shit. She has quick cash. Fam, I'm telling you. Cash. That guy is a smart snack. It's a smart. He's a full mill. He's a full mill. Full mill. Two fries. And a glass of iced tea. Um, excuse me, you forgot the chocolate fudge cake with ice cream too as the dessert. <laughs> He's so, fine. He's so fine. He's so fine. He's so fine. He's so fine. I like Luca. Luca's alternative. Luca's, Luca's cute. cute. But Luca's. A few moments later. So I'm, I basically mix the two and put it into a um, like a lid. I'm gonna apply that underneath my eye. It's so like um. I'm not sure how I feel about the the powder. Maybe I need to add a bit more. Cause I feel like the banana one is a bit too white. I feel like maybe I need to add a bit more of that because it's a bit too um, like neutral, a bit too orangey. Sorry. What do you guys think? So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna be going into the I Heart Makeup Chocolate Palette. Let me go into this one. Maybe I'll put this darker shade first, and then I'll go into the other color. Oh yes, that's a contour colour. Yes. And then I'm gonna be going into this colour on top to almost act like a bronzer shade. Just give me that warmth back in. And then obviously I'm gonna use it for my nose to contour my nose. Blend that out. Ooh. Okay, I won't lie about the pigmentation. So I'm going into the Revolution Neutrals 2 palette. So I'm gonna go into this orange colour right here. And I'm just going to be putting that into my crease. And just, I'll be sweeping it back and forth. Guys, I could just have this eyeshadow as my finished look because I absolutely flipping love this eyeshadow. This eyeshadow here, guys, these formulations for the chocolate bar palettes, I had the chocolate... I can't remember which one it was. It was like, it was the black one. Had that one. That one is absolutely gorgeous. I used it for this look. I'm gonna pop it right there. And that look, I had so much fun creating it. I did a, like a cut crease. Girl, you need to check out that video because that video, I think that's one of my best cut creases that I've done. So I'm just going into my crease. Oh, this smells really nice. But I'm going in with this color, which is called My Own. I'm gonna be going that into, I'm gonna be using that brown shade into my crease. And I'm just gonna be smoky in it. Smoking it into my crease, just to give a little bit more dimension. I'm gonna be going to the back up, which is like a darker brown, and I'm just gonna be placing that into my crease. And just sweeping that in. I'm gonna go into this kind of this color right it's called oh touch me oh I like that <laughs> not like that not like that so I'm gonna be going into the revolution makeup revolution pro fix spray and I'm just gonna be spraying that on the brush best drugstore fixing spray that I've actually used because I just feel like once you put that on your makeup is not going anywhere so I'm just going to be placing that onto my eyelid oh this is this is different then I'm just going to go into the brown that I used before and I'm just going to be applying that on my under eye. I definitely do believe that there is a lot of fallout with these um, eyeshadows. Yeah, see, now, now I've got a sparkly under eye. Flip. So I'm just going into... It's called... I'm going into hard work and I'm just using my finger just to kind of like press it all over my lid. Just to disperse the touch me just mixing and you know mixing and matching colors i think it looks really really it's gonna look really good 
do you guys know I'm all about reusing um, different palettes and whatnot? So I'm going to be going into this beautiful orange, which I love. And I'm actually going to be using that on my cheeks. Maybe I might even just go into this colour down here as well. Just tap off any excess. Oh, wow, that's bright. Oh, just put a little bit on this side as well. This is actually my first highlighter that I ever started out with. And it is the Revolution Vivid Breaked Bronzer. It's just gorgeous. Look at the gold. Guys, you can't chat to me. I'm glistening, literally. And I just feel like it just gives such a nice glow. And then going into the strobe highlighters, they're not as good. Personally, I don't feel like they're as good as this Vivid Breaked Bronzer. But I'm just going to apply it on top. I'm going to go back into F18 and I'm actually going to be using that as a, a lip liner. So on top of that, I'm going to be using the Revolution Lipstick in the colour Vintage. I'm going to swatch it on my hand. It's like a really nice chocolate brown. It's better if you have a tissue and then take off the excess. But because I'm lazy, I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand. Then on top, I'm going to go into Rebirth. Mm. yes so guys this is pretty much the finished look i've got makeup all over me <laughs> absolute sham oh i've got to set my face oh my gosh this is the this is the best bit this is the best thing from makeup revolution i would have to Ooh. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. This is pretty much how I the finished look is. And it is really nice and just glam and flawless. And yes, I had I had fun doing it. When I first started it, I wasn't sure because I thought I just looked mad oily and there. Uh, but you know, we got through, we got to the end, and that's pretty much makeup. You kind of dabble here, you experiment, you do all of that, and you're finished. Just sparkling, just sparkling, do you know what I'm saying? Anyways guys, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. So I'll see you guys next time, bye.